Seeing the Northern Lights is on everyone's bucket list. But there are some things that you need to know before booking your Northern Lights tour. That's why in this video I will tell you the 10 things that you need to know before booking a Northern Lights tour. Number one is that these tours sometimes are called like chasing the Northern Lights tour but as a matter of fact they don't chase the Northern Light, they chase the clear sky. One of the prerequisites to see the Northern Lights is that there must be a clear sky. The Northern Lights are in the sky and as the sun is in the sky like the Northern Lights are the same, it doesn't matter if you see them from Tromso, from Sweden, from Finland, it's always the same Northern Lights. The only thing that they they chase is basically they chase a place where the sky is clear and that's why it's called chasing the northern lights. The second thing that you should know is that even if the sky is clear it doesn't mean that you're going to see the northern light. The northern lights are caused by solar activity and so there must be solar activity in order to see the northern lights. If there is solar activity but the sky is not clear you're not gonna see the northern lights. If there is a clear sky but there is no solar activity you're not gonna see the northern light so there has to be solar activity and a clear sky. The third thing is that you might have to drive even very far away to see the northern lights. I know that there was a tour while we were in Tromso that had to drive four hours to Finland and four hours back so that they could see the northern lights. That's because over northern Norway the weather was really bad so they couldn't find any place with a clear sky so they decided to drive all the way to Finland four hours away to find clear sky and see the northern lights. That's why some tours would also tell you to bring your passport with you because you actually have to cross the border to another country. The fourth thing that you need to know is that the pictures that you see are not a exactly what you're going to see with your own eyes. A camera can capture a lot more light of the human eye and that's why sometimes the northern lights seem like bright green on your picture, on your photo, but you see just a gray line. And that's because the camera captures a lot more light and so the light that you see on camera is green, but your eye captures a lot less light. So that's why for you that northern light is only gray. If the intensity of the northern light is pretty high then you can see the green also with your high and you will have like a very bright green on your camera but you can never compare what you see in a photo with what you're going to see with your eyes because it's not gonna be the same. The fifth thing that you need to know is that there are different intensities. That's called the KPI, which is basically the intensity of the northern light. I think it's a scale from 1 to 10. If there is a 10 in KPI, you will see the brightest, strongest northern lights ever. If it's a 1, a 2 or a 3, I think until like a 5, you will see like only gray. The higher the intensity is, the strongest the northern lights are. The sixth thing that you should know is that the northern lights don't last long. Our guide Trine told us that once the guests were in the lavu and they were roasting marshmallow, she went outside a second to check if there were northern lights and they were like the brightest northern lights. She called everyone to get out and they basically already disappeared. It depends on the night, it depends on the intensity, but the northern lights don't last very long and that's why you really need to enjoy them moment. One thing that Trina told us and I remember it very clearly she always told us pay attention don't be always behind your camera and try to capture the northern light because you have to see them with your eyes. You might be so busy taking pictures that you don't even see the northern lights with your eyes and they can be gone in like a few seconds. They don't last long try to enjoy them when you see them. The seventh thing is that there is normally only one peak. You have a whole night to go and see the northern lights you will have like a few northern lights now and then at one point there will be the peak where the northern lights are the strongest in that evening and there is normally only one peak per evening if you see these super strong northern lights probably that's it for the evening there will 
be like another few ones that are not very strong there is really only one peak when I went on my first Northern Lights tour it was really an incredible night because we had two peaks in one night and at the end of the second peak the sky was just completely green even our tour guide Trina told us that like that was an exceptional night we had a 10 out of 10 of KPI of intensity and we had two peaks and at the end like the sky was completely green for a very long time I remember and I didn't want it to go home and leave the tour but yeah there is only one peak, so try really to enjoy that. The eighth thing, and that's one of the curiosity that I had, is that yes, you can see the Northern Lights from the city if they have a good intensity. The last time that I was in Tromso, we went on a Northern Light tour and we saw pretty good Northern Lights. They were like not super strong and we were far away from the city center in order to avoid light pollution. We came back to our hotel like at 2 a.m. and outside of our hotel, we were at the Scandic, so it was exactly in the center of Tromso. There were such strong Northern Lights. That was amazing and I thought I just paid a Northern Lights tour for nothing because I could have just stayed here and watched it so it can happen that you see the northern lights in the city center even if there is light pollution of course the farther away you go from light pollution the better and the stronger you will see them the ninth thing that you should know is that yes you can see the northern lights from the plane I think this is the only thing that I've been wondering my whole life like can you see the northern lights from the plane and the first time that we went to Tromso on the way back so we were leaving Tromso so we were just taking off I just looked out of the window and those northern lights were so strong so amazing I will put a photo that I did basically the cabin lights were on and I had a red hoodie so I was trying to cover the light with my red hoodie that's why you see the red on the picture but those northern lights were so green were so strong that was amazing so yes you can see the northern lights from the plane. The 10th thing is that you don't need to have a super fancy camera or objective to capture the northern lights. I am an iPhone user so I know that from iPhone number 13 on like 13, 13 Pro, 14, 14 Pro, like the newest generation of iPhones, you can capture amazing Northern Light. Actually, all my videos that you see here are taken with my iPhone, with my normal camera. I was not able to take any video. I could take pictures, but I was not able to take videos. You don't need like a super fancy camera with a huge objective to capture a little bit the Northern Light. I know that there are some apps that like should be good for taking Northern Light's pictures but no like the pictures were awful so my suggestion is invest in a better phone than in a camera then maybe afterwards you're not gonna use anymore I decided to leave you with a few suggestions based on my experience suggestion number one try to book a tour that provides thermal suits especially if you're going like now I think it's pretty cold like minus 15 and on it's gonna be really cold and believe me there is no type of clothing that is gonna help you when it's so long so cold because you are going to stay outside for very long hours so try to book a tour where they provide you thermal suits the second suggestion is wear good shoes and try to wear those like heating pads for the shoes or like heating socks. I think they are cold because the feet are the only thing that is gonna freeze really because you are standing on the frozen ground or on the snow for a very long time. So invest in good shoes, heating soles, thermal soles or like heating pads, thermal socks. Try to keep your feet as warm as possible. My third suggestion is if you can book a tour where they have a lavu or a place where you can go inside and find a bit of shelter especially when it's very very cold I know that there are some tours that like just light a fire outside and you stay around the fire for the whole time let me tell you when I was there it was like minus 18 and even with a fire it's crazy to stay outside for like three four five hours so if you can try to book a tour where they have a lavu 
or like a place where you can go inside and warm up a little bit because it's gonna be very cold. I hope this video was useful to you. Let me know if you're going to Tromso to see the northern lights. I know that a lot of people are going because I am receiving a lot of messages and lucky you, you're gonna have the best time and I really hope you can see the northern lights. So remember to give this video a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye!